believe that it's snowing outside. This is crazy. I just wish it would get nicer out so that we could go for a walk, right, Fred? <laughs> okay, so I'm on here today because I want to show you my example of my genius hour response so that you can look at this and maybe get some pointers or some notes. I, I um, typed it up also, so I can put that um, in a document for you to look at. Right? Is that funny? <laughs> so Fred's going to help me out. The first thing I need is a piece of paper. Would you hold that for me? Okay, I got my piece of paper. Just like that. And then I'll also need something to write with, like a pencil. I like to use a pencil because if I make a mistake, there's an eraser. Thanks, Fred. Okay, so here are a couple of pointers when writing the Genius Hour response. So you want to make sure that you, make sure you can see this, that you have a topic sentence, and, and I'll show you what that what my topic sentence looks like. You also want three clear details about your process: what you learned, what you wondered and what interested you the most. That's what I added to my paragraph. And then a closing sentence. So a topic sentence, information, and a closing sentence will give you a clear beginning, middle, and, say it Fred, an end. So if you need to write a rough draft, which is what I did, I wrote a rough draft and then I typed it up on the computer, or you could do a KWL chart, or just plan it out, sort of like what we were doing for our test prep where we had like a planning page. You can do that as well. So here is my genius hour response. It says, it has my name on the top. Um, it says genius hour response right here. And then I put the date. It says, my genius hour project. Why do unicorns have horns? was very enjoyable to film, create, and learn about. I learned so much on how unicorns got their name and the importance of their magical horn. I'm still wondering where the first sighting of a unicorn took place. I really enjoyed looking at different websites to find information on unicorns. I also really enjoyed filming my project and decorating the room with unicorns. I hope to do other Genius Hour projects in the future. Okay, so it looks something like this. And I will post um, my uh, typed final copy on Class Dojo for you to see as well. So those are some tips on how to write your Genius Hour response, which is due next week, 515. Signing off, Mrs. Kutinger and special assistant and expert egg shaker, Fred. Bye, happy weekend.